see this? It's called ice. And we got a lot of it. That was one crummy ice storm. Well, let's smash that ice with this 2017 Nissan Pathfinder SL. It's got intuitive all-wheel drive, leather seats, heated seats, heated steering wheel. It's got a ton of stuff. But most importantly, it's going to keep you and your family safe on these crummy winter days. Let's go have a look. Well, how's that for a cheesy introduction? What's up guys, it's Skinny at Coburg Nissan and I want to take you on a tour of this 2017 Pathfinder SL. We are fresh off of the first ice storm of the winter and that was pretty miserable, but I tell you what, intuitive all-wheel drive will keep you nice and safe. Now, let's get this bad boy started because it does have the remote starter built in. There we go. It's gonna turn on the climate control, your heated seats, your heated steering wheel, Everything's going to get nice and toasty for us. Now, if this is your first time looking at a Pathfinder, the 2017 was a bit of a refresh model. They've changed the headlights, they've changed the front grille to that V-Motion front grille, and they've updated the interior as well, which we'll get to in just a second. But what they didn't change was the 3.5 liter V6 VQ engine, because that is Nissan's best selling engine highest rated engine most reliable engine if you google search nissan vq engine you will see all the results there and it is absolutely fantastic now as we continue around the pathfinder is a seven passenger vehicle you're going to see that the rear seats have tons of room and if you're not using those there's trunk space aplenty speaking of trunk let's get that opened up because the pathfinder features a power tailgate there we go get this bad boy opened up and look at how much room there is with those two rear seats folded down you've got lots of room back here for cargo and then while those seats are folded down I'd like to show you that there's cup holders back here there's rear vents so the rear passengers stay nice and warm and nice and comfortable and then check this out super easy to pull this up one two and one and two and just like that you've got those rear seats up and then they also have a recline feature here so if you pull this you can climb these seats a little bit further back a little bit more comfort and you can see you've still got room for luggage and cargo in the back there's a 12 volt outlet right here and underneath here you've got a nice storage bin as well for tools or bungee cords or whatever whatever, whatever you want to put back there but let's close her up and as we're doing that I want to take you down here because the Pathfinder does come with a trailer hitch and the wiring already done there for you. So if you're looking to tow, you're good to go. Pathfinder goes over 5,000 pounds. So you can tow a nice little trailer back there. Now you're also gonna see here in the rear bumper, it does have the rear sonar. And underneath, it has a rear view camera as well. Somewhere under, where is it? It is somewhere under there. I can't see because the camera's dipped down, but there's a camera in there, you gotta trust me. So you got rear view camera and rear sonar which is particularly good in the winter months in case that camera gets junked up with all the snow and the grime from the roads. As we're coming around the side, you can see you've got roof rail, <coughs> pardon me, roof rails up top. You got those nice chrome door handles. Over here, we've got the LED turn signals in the mirrors. And then underneath, there's another camera. There's actually four cameras on the car because this features the around view camera, which gives you a top down look. When you're parking, it makes you line up those spots super easy. I'll show you that when we hop in the car. There's those new headlights I was telling you about. You got the nice LED accent light as well. Fog lights down below. Nice big Nissan grill. And there is the other camera. You got a camera right there underneath the Nissan badge to give you a front view of the car, which is a cool little Nissan hack. I'll show you that in just a second when we hop in. Now let's go take a peek inside. And here's our first look here at the second row seating. So you can see here I've got that center armrest down to show you that you got the cup holder and that little iPad slot, which is right there uh, to hold your tablet or your iPad. But then when you fold this up, you've got that extra seating there for yourself. Now, this is also reclining seating in the rear, but if you want to jump in the back, this handle here, pull it up and then this slides forward. And then you can see there, you've got lots of room to jump in those nice back seats. And the seats here are on a slider. So that seat there is all the way back, which gives you a little bit of leg room, but you can also pull these back here and I'll show you. So now with this seat here forward, 
you've got lots of legroom back there for rear passengers and you still have lots of legroom here for the front passengers. As well in the SL model, let me slide this back here. The SL model has tri-zone climate control. So the rear passengers here have the option to have their own temperature in the back, independent from the front too, where that's handy is if you've got an infant or some kids back here, you can keep this back space a little bit warmer than the front, uh, obviously to keep them nice and bundled up. You've got heated seats on the rear as well. So if you've got adult passengers back here who aren't in car seats or boosters, you can get their tushy all nice and warm. And then last but not least, we have a 120 volt outlet, which is fantastic because with this, obviously you can keep the iPads, the tablets, the cell phones, the digital cameras, whatever it is, all nice and charged up. Moving into the front seats. Again, you see that nice leather interior. Seats are in fantastic shape, no odors. Definitely a non-smoker vehicle. And then you have a power driver's seat with power lumbar support. And that is hooked up to the memory seating here. And as we're over here, I'll show you the, this is part of the new 17 refresh. It's got this nice brushed aluminum finish all on the door. And then there's a little bit on the center console. Over here, we've got your heated steering wheel. You've got, oh, the car's not on because the remote is still activated. So some of these things don't work unless you actually turn the car right on. But you got your heated steering wheel, your power trunk. You can turn the power trunk off if you're towing or maybe you're parking in a garage where it's too short. This is for your uh, blind spot warning. Tow mode, so if you're towing, this will keep the vehicle with a little bit higher engine RPMs, allowing you to tow just a little bit easier. And then we've got the switch for that uh, 120 volt in the back. Now let's hop in and get her started so that way you can see all the features here. Push button start. There we are. All right, so now that we're loaded up, you can see here 64,000 kilometers on this SL. And this is the uh, driver advanced display system. So you can go through here and it's gonna show you your tire pressure monitor, how the uh, real-time all-wheel drive is working, your fuel economy. It's got everything here to uh, adjust the settings and give you the real-time output. Now, one thing I do want to show you, have a look at this. 8.3, hold on, let me get in there. 8.3 liters per hundred is what this Pathfinder is averaging right now, and that is fantastic fuel economy for an SUV, especially of this size. Remember, it is a 3.5 V6, so it does get great fuel economy, and that's part and parcel of the engine mated with that nice CVT transmission. Now, I got automatic headlights, cruise control and radio controls all on the steering wheel. Your Bluetooth controls are all there. A leather wrapped steering wheel again with a heated steering wheel. Super nice, that wheel gets nice and warm within like 20 seconds. Totally no, don't need gloves with this, you just hop in and it's nice and warm. Up here we have the infotainment system. So right now it's on the climate control setting when I turn the radio on, hopefully it's not blasting. When I turn that radio on, it gives you your radio options up top. You have satellite radio, uh, Bluetooth streaming from your cell phone, USB input. So there's a great way of listening to all your favorite audio selections, especially if it's from your phone. We've got the Nissan app button, which you can go through and operate this just like a tablet. You can change the clock. It's kind of a cool little setting that they have there. Go back to the climate control. And now here's why I want to show you the uh, top down um, around view camera. So when I put it in reverse, gives you your rear view camera and then over here on the side it gives you that nice top down view allowing you to park the car nice and easy and check your surroundings now here's a cool little hack though when I put it in drive if you push the camera button here it gives you the front camera so you can see there there's a view of the road and there's that truck passing by so what that does is is when you're driving and say you're trying to park and maybe there's one of those really stupid uh, light posts with that big cement barrier you don't want to hit that obviously, but when you hit that camera button, when you're pulling into the spot, now you can get nice and close without bumping into it or the car in front of you. So that's just one of those cool little Nissan hacks that I know of. Now we'll flip back to the audio. And again, give you a nice look at this center console. Really, really sharp with that nice brushed aluminum trim. You've got all your audio controls down here. Your dual zone climate controls are right there. Driver's side, passenger side over here. You've got some 12 volt plugins over here, your heated seat buttons, nice shifter. And then here is for the real time all wheel drive system. You can see you can put it in two wheel drive if you like. 
you can put it into automatic, which will uh, automatically monitor the wheel speed sensors to make sure there's no slippage. If it is, it will lock it in uh, to four wheel drive for you and obviously take it back out when it's not needed. Or if you'd like, you can lock it in to four by four. Uh, you would use that if maybe you're towing on a boat ramp or you know wherever the situation arises, you wanna lock it in, go right ahead. And then here we have hill descent control, which is kind of the same thing as uh, putting in like low gear or something like that from uh, the early 80s. Remember when you used to downshift on a hill? <coughs> We've got these handy tabs now, finally, upper and lower, because I always get them confused. Upper will do just the top tray here, and then lower does the full big old tray there. We can see there we've got some USB inputs. We've got an RCA input, an auxiliary input. So all of your various inputs for your media needs. And then having a look around, you can see, again, in really nice shape, full seven passenger, heated leather seats, front and rear, heated steering wheel, 64,000 kilometers and 8.3 liters per hundred. Pathfinder is a great choice for you and your family. And best of all, if you're shopping from out of town, we have you covered because we have free delivery practically right across Ontario. Guys, my name is Skinny. I love working at Coburg Nissan and you will love buying here. Give us a call or send us an email. We'll explain how our free delivery system works. Even if you have a trade-in, we can take care of that as well. A simple email with some information and some photos and we are good to go. And then you just sit back at home and wait for your new car to arrive. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and take care.